I suspect you're gonna love this next story. It's about a cop who gets pulled over by a citizen. Yes, you heard that right. This guy named Gavin Seam, in fact, he's media explains, Gavin Seam pulled a cop over for what ha appeared to be an unmarked sheriff car violation. Really? Well, let's take a look at the video and see how this all went down and you'll see it for yourself. Watch. Make sure his unmarked car is uh, legal. Yes, sir. Afternoon, sir. How are you? Good. Hey, the reason I stopped you today is because I saw this car was unmarked. Is this a, a registered unmarked vehicle for undercover work or? Okay, you're not allowed to have patrol cars that are that are unmarked. Are you aware of that under Washington State RCW? Mm, I'd have to look it up. But... Yeah, you really should do that. Um, so there's no mark. There's no indication on this car. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Canfield. Canfield okay, right. Deputy Canfield. Can I see some ID? Can you see some ID? Of yes. Me? Yeah, I need yeah. to make sure that you're. No, I, you, you need to prove you're driving an unmarked vehicle. So I need to make sure you're actually a police officer and that you are you have the authority to be driving this vehicle because you seem to be kind of doing something that's uh, clearly in violation of Washington state law. So I just want to make sure you are who you say you are, okay? Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Simon, I'm not going to play the game with you. Okay. This isn't a game. It's called law. Okay. Yeah. So can I see some ID and maybe license, registration, proof of insurance, sir? No, I'm not going to show you that. Yeah, this is my ID right here. That's not ID, sir. Yeah, well, if I showed you a badge, if you stopped me, would you take that as ID? Come on, that's, that, let's be reasonable. Anybody can have a patch, sir. Okay, what about... This, can, I mean, is it a big deal for you to show me some ID just so I can make sure? I can show it to you. That'd be cool. That's all I want. I just I just like to make sure. Canfield GT51, can I see? Yeah, you can see it. You're not going to hold it in your hand, though. Okay, let me just get a close look at it there. It's fine. Does that match this? That looks, that looks legit to me. I appreciate it. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. Driver's license? You got a driver's license, too. I appreciate okay. it. I, do. I appreciate the cooperation. Are you stopping people in this vehicle? Yeah, I am. Okay, it's completely in violation of Washington state law and you are culpable in that, the way the law is written. Okay, so, so you've admitted that you are in violation of Washington state law and that you are stopping people in this vehicle. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do, um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna write you up today. What I am gonna encourage you to do, to do is take this car back. <laughs> I know you're smiling, but, but we the citizens do have a right to hold you guys accountable. If I'm in open violation of the law, I mean, I, I, could, I could call a sheriff out here and demand that you be written up for this because you are in open violation of Washington State RCWs. Okay? okay. <laughs> Who didn't love? I'm not going to write you up today. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let you off the hook a little bit here today, but I, I'm going to need a, a lot more uh, information from you. I love everybody in this video. So obviously Gary Seam, I don't know what his politics are, I don't care what his politics are. Go check out his blog, I'm gonna give, give you some quotes from it. Obviously did a fantastic job with this, right? Uh, I love that he's like, look, I got my rights, I know what my rights are, I'm gonna pull this guy over. He flags me, he's like, hey, take a line, line, get in here, get in here, okay, I gotta talk to you, right? And he asks for proof of insurance and registration. I mean, the nads on this dude, right? And uh, this cop is gonna catch a lot of stuff at the precinct is my guess. But you know what? I actually want to applaud him too. Because it's so easy for him to say, get out of here, I'm a cop, what do you mean? How dare you ask me questions? But no, he hears the guy out and he says, look, I'm trying to be reasonable, you're, what you're doing is against the law. And the cop doesn't bust him over the head, he doesn't pepper spray him, he doesn't shoot him, he doesn't do any of those things. He hears him out, he gives him his ID. You, by the way, as a cop, you're supposed to. You're supposed to show that you are in fact a police officer. That's the first cop I've ever seen do that. You shouldn't make fun of him for that. You should applaud him for that. That was actually great. There's nothing, he, look, you, he should look into whether he did uh, something that isn't technically right. It's not his fault that, you know, I'm sure that his commanding officer told him to go do that. But the fact that he was a reasonable person is wonderful. Now, look, we know there's a little bit of difference here with Gary asking the questions. We got a picture of Gary? You saw him a little bit there in the video. But here he is, right? Now, if a younger African-American gentleman pulled a cop over and asked for his identification and said he's lucky he's not writing him up, would we have had the same reaction? Look, from this cop, we might have, because I think he sounds like a really reasonable cop, right? And Washington State you know, is, is better in terms of being responsive, roughly speaking. I mean, look, police state issues are all over the country, right? But the fact that they're a little bit more liberal like that is a good thing, not a bad thing. We don't want them, you know, disregarding what the citizens say and not giving a damn what the citizens say. Now, I don't know if you could hear it on mic, but our producer, J.R. Jackson, was yelling, nope, 
right? If it was a black guy, I don't know what this particular cop, but nine out of ten times, it probably wouldn't have gone that way. But we're not done yet. We got more video. Let's watch. You should not be stopping people in a car that's unmarked because that's when the safety concern really comes in. Somebody doesn't know if they're being stopped by a police officer. So understand that every time you stop somebody in this car, you are you are in violation of Washington state law and you can't do that. So if we see you stopped in this car and, and, and have doing patrol stops in this car, we're going to have a problem because it's illegal. If you continue doing this, you could be arrested for that. I, I could be arrested for driving an unmarked car? For driving an illegal vehicle and refusing to comply? Okay. Are you uh, saying that if somebody else was driving an illegal vehicle and wouldn't cooperate, that they wouldn't be arrested? And, uh, how, how, so, how are you comparing? I mean, it's kind of apples and oranges. It's not apples and oranges. You're driving a vehicle on, on, on Washington State roads, on a Washington State highway, yeah. and it's in violation of the law, and you are, you're accountable to the law just the same as, as me and anybody else is, you know? Okay. Yeah. Because the law is defined at the officer and says you, as the officer, shall not operate the vehicle on the public roadways, a publicly owned vehicle that's not legally marked. Well, that's good to know. I'll, I'll I mean, yeah, I mean, just follow up on it and let's just get it taken care of. It, it doesn't have to be a big deal. And I understand that there's certain instances, as is referenced in the law, where there is exemptions, but patrol vehicles are not included in that. So, okay. Sounds good. All right. Have you be safe weekend. out there, Mr. Canfield. Take care. I love how he talks like a cop, too. Let's just get it taken care of, okay? And meanwhile, at the, by the end, the cop's like, how do I leave as soon as possible? <laughs> I have to stop what is happening here. <laughs> this guy's got the camera on me, but I love that he's got the camera on him. Good. Our off police officers are supposed to be responsive to us. And so uh, Gavin then went on his website and explained, uh, ordinary looking unmarked police cars slink around and entrap so they can write folks up, read tax for petty faults. That's not protecting, as my brother Blake says, serve and protect, not harass and collect. But this is also a major safety issue. Unmarked vehicles are a ripe opportunity for confusion in a citizen's reaction and for criminals to impersonate lawful authority to get people to stop. People have been raped and even murdered because of this, so the law is good sense. Here, here, man. I don't know anything about Gavin Seam outside of this, but in this regard, I love that he stuck up for all the citizens and actually made the people we're paying with our tax dollars, police officers who are here to protect and serve us, accountable and held them to the same standards as we all are. So, loved how it went down. God bless. Now, JR, you're saying you're fairly sure that if it was a black guy who pulled over a cop and asked for papers that it wouldn't have gone the same way? I'm just going on a limb and just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to assume, and we're going to call this speculation. Mm -hmm. Because uh, actually it was, it's so, it was so blatant. I mean, again, you said the cop terminology he used, even at the end, he goes, I'm going to let you off hook this time. And uh, you, you be safe out there, officer or, or sir, whatever he called him, right? Uh, so, I mean... It was obvious, I think he was doing it on purpose to make it all proper and straightforward and really put the cop in the position a lot of citizens are in. Uh, but honestly, it actually pissed me off. I was so annoyed by this video. Oh, really? Thoroughly. I didn't see that coming. The longer Why it went, is that? The more I, I, by the time I was done watching it, I was frowned up and uh, gritting my teeth a little bit. It was so annoying. I, so explain that better to me. Why? So this, this puts on, on absolute, this puts a spotlight on what black folks have been saying for decades of all time in our country, right? So when you get treated a certain way and you go, do you know what the cops do to us? And people go, oh God, please, why are you keep doing? What are you talking about? And then when someone else obviously shows it from the other side of it, like illustrates it clearly, they go, oh, look at this amazing character. What a citizen, he's so awesome. I can't believe he did this. He showed exactly how he's supposed to do it. But in reality, it, it, it <laughs> our experiences get highlighted even more. And then all this praise goes to someone who showed it without even experiencing what we experience. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, I think, because of the frustration that comes with constantly trying to be validated. And when you're not validated the whole time, someone else comes and validates things for you. It, it's Right, I, I got you. So you're saying, it's annoying. look, you guys have been asking to, see, to make sure they're cops for decades, and you didn't get this kind of treatment. And then when this guy gets that treatment, you go, and then people turn around and go, see, the cops are totally f perfectly reasonable, right? You go, well, and, depends and, on the circumstance. Yeah, and specifically <laughs> this instance, my right. grandmother-in-law was followed home by unmarked cars. They flipped their lights. They thought something was wrong. She was in an area she couldn't, she wasn't recognizing, so she was driving really slowly. They were pulling over trying to help her, right? But she's like, I don't know if 
these cop cars that don't look like cop cars are cop cars. I'm afraid. So she just drove normal pace and kept going. She didn't pull over. So it was like a slow speed chase. Right. By the time she got home, there was four or five fucking cop cars. She's like 80 years old, uh-huh. surrounding her house. So like, <laughs> so when, when this you guy- wish, when, You when wish this, they'd have gotten this memo a little earlier? Yeah, so when this guy tells him, you know why you can't pull over people in this unmarked car? What if my 16 year old daughter's driving? She could be afraid for her life. And people go, oh yeah, I totally relate to that. But if I retold the story last year when I heard about this, people going, oh my God, the cops are just trying to help your old grandmother out. Why are you bitching? <laughs> it's just the response is different from even society. So it's not just this cop. I would like the cop responded the way he did. But people need to be awakened to, what, to two different Americas that there are.